New Donkey vid to react to? <laughs> hey, you know what Sun Tzu said. When in Rome. You guys know John Wick? Yeah. yeah. John Dick. <laughs> you don't miss. Wait, oh my god, dude. He actually don't miss. Fuck, I wish I thought of that. He's been at the forefront of comedy and he stayed pioneering. Are any of you guys or have you ever been what I'll call Call of Duty dudes? You'll know you're one if you are wearing sweatpants, you've got like a monster energy. You're in sort of like an apartment that's got like no decorations. After you get home from work, you just boot up Call of Duty and you sort of just talk shit online. <laughs> it's a very popular category of gamer, but what's funny about it is they don't really cross over into other areas. This is me thinking as like a games marketer. I think, listen, I, I'm not a big Call of Duty player, but I've had fun playing it. We had an NVIDIA event where we had everyone out to play it and everyone's just an office worker. They're all bad. I'm, I'm, you can, you know, everyone's bad because I was doing pretty well. <laughs> I wasn't doing the best, but I was doing pretty well. And I'm dog shit at FPS. And then the big, big boss, the guy who's like literally uh, CMO, like highest marketing employee right underneath Jensen. Um, we're like, sit down and play, play around. Come on, play around. He's like, ah, you know, he's, he's a little bit older. He, he doesn't really game anymore. And he's like, ah, I don't know. We're like, come on, play, play around. <laughs> okay. He sits down. <laughs> Fucking within 30 seconds, he lands the most insane no-scope snipe on my head. <laughs> That's the only kill he gets all day. I walk into his field of view, crack. <laughs> Everyone fucking dogs me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's the head of marketing. That is, that's why. I knew that day I had a lot to learn. So naturally I started <laughs> talking about his mother on comms, obviously. It's, and then I was like, no, wait, no, it's Call of Duty. That's good. That's good stuff, dude. Donkey Kong the champ. Donkey Kong the champ. Picture that. It's me at the gym. <laughs> I got wired headphones in. Girl taps me on the shoulder. What are you listening to? You seem to be really into it. <laughs> oh, uh, Kanye. <laughs> oh, cool. As I <laughs> put the weights down, the phone cord comes unplugged. <laughs> it starts playing full volume out of my fucking phone. Big old bump. She frowns for a moment, then it turns to a smile. Suddenly, everyone else in the gym starts dancing along with me. It's the most infectious song you've ever heard. Wait, was that a marketing stunt? This is kind of genius. I'm sorry I'm getting distracted. They do a viral video thing where they had Don Kong scare children out of a... That's genius. Hey, next time you guys are at Best Buy shopping for a GPU... <laughs> Be on your toes. <laughs> You're going to ask, are there any 30 series in stock? Oh, I'm sorry. No, there's a chip shortage. They're not in stock. <laughs> we might have one in the back, though. <laughs> he points to, like, this dark, shady door in the back. <laughs> are you going to go get it? You have to get it yourself. <laughs> he did no video today. 11 minutes. Sorry, everybody. There is no video today. Wait, there's literally... Sorry about that. <laughs> what is this? But... I mean, since you're here already, a man is overseeing <laughs> operations at the 14th. Uh, Donkey is actually the creator I admire the most. I think he truly doesn't care. And so he does, he's always doing new stuff. I mean, he does, he really has no, like, I never feel Donkey's like, oh, I have to do one of these kind of videos for views. His audience trusts him so much, he can just do anything. Largest I, I, I really am, I'm super impressed with in him. America. As part of his education, he took on an internship at Frito-Lay where he would work on the assembly line, dusting Lay's chips with onion powder and various preservatives. Is this the guy that invested in invented Doritos? So dedicated or to Cheetos? His work. Turns out he might have been a bit of a liar, or he exaggerated a bit, but... Like, there, it was a really feel-good story about this janitor who added, like, his own spices, made his own and then brought it to the fucking head of the shop. They loved it. They gave him a huge promotion. He became executive VP of like new ch chip design. And, and he went around the country telling a story. But then you find out it's like mostly fake, mostly exaggerated. Head of packaging takes a Frito, puts it in his mouth. <laughs> he turns to Bill and he says, 
you are the genius of potato <laughs> chips. It didn't take long for Bill Cheatler to rise through the company's ranks. It's like an but then audio he book. An thud. <laughs> the sound seemed to come from the factory floor. A faint blue glow appeared. A low humming could be heard. He walked out into the darkness and drew closer Reflect. and closer towards the mysterious glow. Until... Goo! <laughs> Hello, Bill! It was a small gnome holding a blue lantern. <laughs> what are you doing in my factory? I was just about to head home. Grab onto me hand, Bill! <laughs> the gnome jumped up and grabbed Bill's hand and they went... <laughs> <laughs> the gnome was teleporting Bill into another time period. The, the captain and his crew burst into laughter. You have to listen to me, Silverbeard. I did not choose to come here. How does he know no, his you name? Listen, Bill Cheater. You have cheated me out How of does me. He know his name? Walk the plank, Mr. Bill. Bill is surrounded on all sides by pirates. <laughs> the THX he walks sound? Onto the plank. <laughs> There's a bunch of sharks under the boat. And then. He bounces off the plank into the air and starts doing 300 front flips and then Bill pulls out a gun starts shooting at the pirates. Oh, fuck! Big ass barrel breaks out. He's wobbling all over, but then Bill spots a barrel on the main bow. He's got only one bullet left. He takes aim. Direct hit. Orange get the powder gun? explodes from the barrel. From the ocean floor, a giant creature locks onto the delicious scent of powdered cheese. What? It's powdered cheese? Giant octopus master called Peter Octopus. <laughs> starts picking up pirates and throwing them into the sea. All the night music. Everybody's dead. Except for Bill. Woo. Yeah, I figured. Oh, brother. Just what have I gotten myself into this time? <laughs> Bill climbed down from the crow's nest and tries to enter the captain's quarters and search for Why would Bill say that after murder? Dang it, it's locked. <laughs> until he finds a document labeled World Map. However, something isn't right. Why is this whole thing just blue? North America, South America, <laughs> Africa, Asia, Europe, none of them are represented on the map. This cannot be. Hey, let me out of here. Bill heard someone yelling in the distance. What is the point of a map if it's all blue? <laughs> why, 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 why is a big blue square? He could see what appeared to be a large ape. Who are you, creature? <laughs> the ape was big and brown, with funny hair oh, and a big red tie. Yeah. My name is Dylan Kane. <laughs> I'm a talking monkey. Can you steer the ship towards land, Mr. Kane? <laughs> but there is no land, my liege. <laughs> what do you mean? What, what happened is it to all of our lands? Why does he talk like that? At the height of their powers, humanity sought to combine the elements of cheese and corn into a sort of crunchy, food-like substance. The global leaders poured the planet's resources into mastering this technology, sacrificing the lives of millions in vain. Hundreds of wars broke out on the surface while those in power dug deep into the Earth's core. In their desperation, Why? they turned to a man called Kilgore Prime. Why would they dig deep into the Earth's core for cheese and corn? There's no, there, those are both things you get on the surface. Everyone knows you don't need to go to Kilgore Prime for that. Only you, Bill Cheadle, have the power of the summoner to defeat Galactus Prime and save the world from its final reckoning. But I'm just a manager of a food processing factory in Shitston, Ohio. How can I ever defeat Galactus? Shitston? Quick, defeat Galactus. There he is. <laughs> Bill Cheadle, you think you can face me in my it domain? It is well paced. It Dude is well paced. Into a big ass robot, start shooting big ass fucking lasers and shit. Grab onto my belt, Bill. Bill shoots a grapple hook onto the moon and starts swinging around the moon. He has a grapple hook. Real that goes if I to don't the make moon. It, tell Donkey Kong I love him. I thought his name was Dylan Kane! Bill launches himself like a missile through the heart of Galactus and kills his stupid fucking head off. And then, who did Bill bump into but Chester Cheetah? Here you go, Bill. Here is my secret recipe. He took a weird looking corn chip and started pouring mac and cheese powder on top of it. His employees looked at him confused. Sir, what are you doing? Making Cheetos, Grillbo. <laughs> Making Cheetos. That was riveting. That was riveting. Grand Theft Auto 3, Dunk View. 2001. 
I'm at the GameStop in Southridge Mall. I have Grand Theft Auto 3 in my hands. I'm right there at the finish line. I walk up to the register to meet one of the most evil men of all time. I'm not gonna sell you that game, fucking bastard. I'll sell that game to your mom, but not you. Same thing happened to me. Literally said that my, my, I was not allowed to buy it. My parents wouldn't let me buy it. And then when I tried to buy it on my own, they wouldn't sell it to me. So I went to my friend's house whose parents didn't give a shit and had it. It was my friend Patrick's house. I would go there and I would play it all the time. But like it's a single player game and he's only got one setup. <laughs> it caused a bit of riff, you know? It was a bit of a riff with me and Patrick because he wants to play it, right? <laughs> and I wasn't there to hang out with Patrick. I, you know, I liked Patrick, sure, but I just wanted to play <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Workers versus that guy. Oh, they're stealing. They're getting. I don't like the new look. I'm pretty sure I'm not alone in this, but I. It looks. It looks too uh, cartoony. Can I hit these guys from here? Yep. Wait a minute. I don't need to go in. I have the shotgun. God, this game was so much fun. There's a mission where you have to spook a guy out of his apartment with a hand grenade, and he comes out of the garage and... <laughs> so I went, hmm, what if I block his garage off with a bunch of vehicles? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. My whole plan. My whole plan. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it is worth noting that people really... Go, 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 stop. Yeah, stop, I mean, stopping. it's more fun with, like, that feeling of when you're basically when you're a kid. Games like this are the most fun when you're a kid and have no responsibilities and time doesn't matter. And you could just sit around and dick around in a game and find weird shit. I mean, I can do it a little bit more because I stream now, but, like, in general, you kind of want to beat a game and it gets frustrating when you, you only have a certain amount of time to play and you have to do a lot of resets. Look at this. You win. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. He did it! Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why are you, you doing it again? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thing. <laughs> Dislike video? It's two minutes long, we'll watch it. Looks like YouTube finally fixed YouTube. They just won't be counted or matter at all. Which <laughs> means I can literally say whatever I want now. Last of Us 2. Oh, look at that. Zero dislikes. Well, guess I was right after all. <laughs> Homophobic, <laughs> fake-ass gamers. Guess you all changed your minds because I told you to. And you have to listen to what I tell you to do. Because I'm the boss of you. Last of Us 2 is the best story in video game history. Gamers were just too dumb to get it. Simple as that. For those of you who disagree, look at this. Go ahead and drop a dislike. This shit doesn't even count. Man, Souls was a bad Wait, game. I, my mouth I'm laughing Dark too Souls was too hard. Bloodborne was too hard. Sekiro was too hard. Elden Ring is gonna be too hard. From software, you guys are just dumb. I don't, I don't know how else to say this. Stop making games too hard, idiot. Game journalists are right. They know way more about video games than you guys. Uh, not only should Dark Souls have an easy mode, easy mode should be the only selectable difficulty. There shouldn't be. I'm actually gonna throw up. I'm laughing too hard. I can't breathe. <coughs> uh, one second. <coughs> that is a fucking funny video. That is a fucking funny video.